you should have got these answers for the gravitational potential questions and these for the electric potential questions. You can see that at all points around the Earth, a distance of one radius from the centre have the same potential. And all points two radiuses from the centre have the same potential, and so on. We can join these points up to show lines of equipotential, like so. And your graph should look like these. If you've plotted the gravitational, gr gravitational potential graph the other way up, then you've forgotten the importance of the negative sign. The electric potential graph is this way up because the field was generated by a positively charged nucleus. If we chose a negative field, then the graph would follow the same trend as a gravitational potential graph. It's important that you remember this. You should also have noted that the graph shows there is a relationship between the potential and the distance. We can say that the potential is inversely proportional to the distance from the centre of the mass or charge. Again, you should remember the shape of these graphs and understand the difference between the shape of this relationship and an inverse square relationship like field strength.